Hey lovely, what it do? I'm Erica Shea. Welcome to my channel where everything I do, I do it my own way. So in this video, I want to do a little style over my locks. Like, I don't know exactly what I want to do just yet, but shout out to XE Hair because they sent me over some hair to use. I'm a little excited about this. So I wanted to try out the 100% Humane Marley hair. And it's like the twist and braid in here. It came in this cute little package. First of all, I like the color of this. And just such as this 100% um, Humane hair. It comes in a package like this. This is one pack, but I had already opened another pack already. Look how pretty this hair is. This texture is so pretty. It's a nice, pretty pattern. And I disrupted it a little bit, but it came with two rubber bands at the end. And then at the ends here, it's like twisted a little bit so that you can just pick off those, <laughs> just pick off the strand of hair that you want to use. And I think that's pretty cool because listen, nobody got time to be tussling with no hair. Okay. It's pretty curly. It's very soft. It smell wise, it's not bad. It just like, you know, it just smells like regular pack of hair when you take it out. But I am going to do an apple cider vinegar rinse. I'm going to um, just cleanse the hair, let it air dry before I apply it to my own hair. This is, like I said, it's 16 inches. This is 1B. I'm going to leave all the info in the description box down below. It's going to be a coupon code in there. And just everything is going to be in the description box. So. When you finish checking out this video, go ahead to the description box and then head over to their website and do your thing. I gotta get creative to see what I can do with two packs of hair. And I'm sure I can come up with something, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure I can come up with something, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and cleanse this hair. I added the ponytail holders in the middle of the hair so that when I put it into the apple cider vinegar rinse, it keeps the hair intact for the most part. So we're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna make it work. We're not gonna overcomplicate it. Here go my locks. The hair is still intact, so it looks nice. So we have the hair through, and I'm just going to twist it down. Okay. Now we just do this whole front. I really love that you can just separate, like that these pieces are already pre-separated. This is me just showing you something that I'm doing off the top of my head just to see if it works. But I do think the bundles though are really full. <clears throat> Send help. Send help. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do banty knots. So I already prepped the back of my hair. All I did was just put my hair Put my locks into buns. This one I still have the twist in there, so I'm gonna take the twist out of this one. I don't have any edge control on deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of gel. So yeah, I decided to just go ahead and do banter knots instead. I was going to do the flat twist, which is why I was twisting the perimeter, but I didn't like how that was turning out. Now this one, I'm going to keep in a twist because I'm going to have that one just hanging out. Oh, and I like how it added a little crinkle. Foundation is done. Let's go ahead. And add in this hair. So 
I'm doing is taking two pieces of hair. So just two pieces of hair. I really love how they separate. So I'm just going to put the crochet in the, in the middle and just pull these two strands through. And then I just like loosen my locks from the bun so I can wrap it around the hair. Now if I use more hair, it'll probably be good, but I'm trying to make sure I have enough pieces for all of the knots. So I'm just twisting it and just, you know, and just wrap it around. Now just take one of the band and just put it over top. Do the same thing throughout the rest of my knots. Crochet through the middle, pull the hair through, loosen my locks in the bun, twist, and wrap. Grab a band. Okay, let me fix a couple of these pieces. So this is the final product of the hairstyle, the Bantu knot style that I came out with. So this is actually my first time doing a Bantu knot style on my hair. And I think it came out pretty good for my very first time and with locks at that. So I went ahead and added in a little accessory over here. And then I just added a bead to this twist that I added with the Merle hair. And I did the same exact technique. The only thing is I just went ahead and made my sections bigger. I added some product in with the parts so that it can look a little more sleek and that the Marley hair can blend more into my locks. And I added in three to four pieces per section. And this is what we came up with, okay? This is the final look. Let's see what this back is looking like. <laughs> and I also gave myself a little shape up. All right, so we have come to an end. I appreciate you as always for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to head over to exahair.com and check out their selection of hair that they do have. They have a few different selections other than the Marley hair if you want to try it out. And it's 100% human hair. All the information will be in the description box, the website, the promo code, all types of stuff. So go ahead and check that out. Shout out to Exit Hair once again for sending me the hair and considering me. I appreciate you. Until next time.